Hello, my name is Tomasz Pożytek and in this short video I want to show you the two new triggers that are going to arrive in Power Automate. These triggers are related to Microsoft Teams and will help you and many companies, I guess, in a bit of a better governance in Microsoft Teams. Why? Well, because the first one is called when a new team member is added. So with this trigger, you can actually create a Power Automate that are being triggered every time a new member is added to a team. For example, to display them a welcome message or to display them um, a message with an adaptive card to uh, confirm the rules, the guidelines, and that they have to check box it, to tick it that they acknowledged. Or maybe to display them a uh, kind of an application or, or software to help them on board with Microsoft Teams or with the Teams procedures and things. Well, that's really up to you. The, vast of possibilities and, and functionalities and ways you can use this function, sorry, to use this trigger is quite wide. The second trigger that I want to talk about and I want to focus on a little bit more because it's somehow closer to my heart is the one that is called for a selected message. Now, why is it very special? First of all, because it helps you to create an adaptive card. Why you need it? Well, I'll show you in a, in a very, very while. So first of all, this trigger is really important because it actually have this adaptive card designer already built in in Power Automate. So you don't have to navigate away from the Power Automate to create a card and then copy paste the JSON inside. Plus, you don't see that long JSON code in here. The next thing that you have in this trigger is to define the dialog with and hate in pixels. <clears throat> Let me show you one that I've already built. So again, the number of ways you can actually use this flow, use this trigger uh, is very wide. And one of the approaches, one of the ways I want to show you can use it is actually to help users to act for the specific message, whether it's a private or, uh, or, a, or in a public uh, stream, where they can use these options to somehow handle this specific message. So for example, if they select the message, they can, for example, report it because it might be abusive or whatever. Um, they can as well request its deletion. Well, unfortunately, there is no way today to delete a message automatically right from Power Automate or using Microsoft Graph API, but this can be a task assigned to a Microsoft Teams administrator who is going to do this manually. Or maybe they can request to send them a copy, or maybe you like the uh, power automate to do something else with this message message or with the contents from this message again this is all up to you what i did for this short demo is i gave users this those three options to choose from so they can report the message they can request its deletion or they can just request to send them a copy and then once uh once this operation is done what the power automate is doing based on the decision for example if the request is to report a message, then it is actually assigning a task to the Microsoft Teams administrator. Here you can see the regular uh, uh, regular post and active card to Microsoft Teams user and wait for the response action. So I have all the code or the JSON code in here. And then it is expecting Teams administrator to take an action and do something with it. Let me show you how it works. So now I'm navigating back to Microsoft Teams and then once I hover a message, you'll notice that each hovered message has this small uh, picker of, of emoticons, of emotions. And then there is this also ellipsis icon. Now, once I click it, a new menu arrives. And then there is an option called More Actions. Now, under these More Actions, you will find all the Power Automates or the like items that are Power Automates and that you have created using this trigger. Note as well that this label here is just the name of the Power Automate I have created. So if you're going to do this on your own, then just remember to make those names as much descriptive as possible and not too long because it, when, it, it will not look good in here. Now, once I click it, it will trigger me now the, um, this overlay, this, this dialog window with an adaptive card that I have just authored. And now I want to report it. and submit. Now, once I submit this message, I can now navigate back to the Power Automate. Here it is. 
trigger just a moment ago. And now there is a number of data I can really choose from. So, well, maybe this one doesn't look good, but there is a lot of information I can actually use to get the full context of the message that has been requested or reported, plus the information from the, auto, from the adaptive card. And so, once I navigate back to my chat window where I should be sent already this message, this adaptive card, yep, I can actually see it already. And there it is. There is this adaptive card I've created with a request for the Microsoft Teams administrator to take an action, take an action. And what I can see here is that the Tamash Poshitek has reported this message for the reason it is abusive. And I also have some of the information about this message. So I have who is the author, what is the channel ID. Um, if that would be a message with the subject, then possibly I would be able to see the subject here, but I also have the contents. And plus I have a hyperlink to the message. So now once I hit it, you will notice that the message that was reported is now highlighted in this yellow color. So Teams Administrator is actually now aware what message it is really about. And well, what can they do? They can simply remove it or do something and then confirm it as completion. And complete. What will simply make the flow to as well complete because this action here, request report, was waiting for administrator to send the confirmation so to complete this task. And that is basically it. So I hope with these two new actions, you will be able even to, to govern your teams even on a higher level or even to make those Microsoft Teams much useful and much friendly for your users, for your business users, for your employees. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, simply put them down in the comments. Um, and I also encourage you to follow me on this YouTube channel. So if you like, subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you in my next videos.